Hi everyone, this is Frankie Gahi with Remax Omega here in Irvine, California. And thank you for watching my video blog. Today we're going to talk about when is the best time to put your house on the market if you are planning to sell in 2016. Before I start, I would like to draw your attention to the two buttons on the right side of your screen. The market evaluation button will provide you a free market evaluation on your home. The other button will provide access to all the homes currently on the market for those who are looking to buy a home or an investment property. Let's go back to our topic. When is the best time to put your house on the market if you are planning to sell this year? I strongly believe now is the best time. Or sooner is better than later. Here is why. Let's consider these factors. 1. The inventory. 2. The inventory trend or the market condition. 3. Interest rates. 4. Any possible wild cards, which I think we're going to have a couple of them for this year. Let's start with the inventory. We have less number of homes on the market at this time than we did 2015 at this time or 2014 at this time. And as far as the inventory trend and the market condition, we generally start with a lower inventory and as we go through uh, spring and get closer to the summer, the inventory increases. Many people believe summertime is the best time to go on the market. As a result, many homeowners put their house on the market. You'll get more listing on the market than the market can absorb. What happens, seller starts competing with other sellers by reducing their price in order to get them also. Number three would be the interest rates. Interest rates right now are lower than what they were before the end of 2015. Federal Reserve has hinted three or four more rate hikes before the end of this year. So, as interest rates rise, buyers' affordability will be lower and therefore there's going to be more pressure on the pricing. The number four would be the wild card, which I think this year we're going to have a couple of them to consider. One is the election. As we get closer to the nomination and as we get closer to the election time, there will be more uncertainty and there are going to be a certain percentage of the buyers that are going to sit on the sideline waiting to see what the outcome of the election is before they could uh, decide to buy or not. So we're going to lose a percentage of buyers due to the uncertainty of the election. In addition to that, we have the uncertainty of the global market as the second wild card. And with what's happening with China, with uh, uh, Europe and in the emerging markets, there is more and more uncertainty developing that what is going to be the impact on us. That by itself is going to have some more buyers sitting on the sideline. So, considering these conditions, I strongly believe if you are planning to sell in 2016, now is the best time, or sooner is better than later. There is a fifth factor to consider, and that is your individual situation and limitation. In other words, if you have children in school, you may not be able to take advantage of the current market and may have to wait until summertime. I'll be more than happy to schedule time to meet with you in person and discuss your particular situation. Uh, possibly take advantage of our private listing program to maximize your selling price. I want to ask you all if in case there is any topics that you are interested in, uh, please email me or call me. I'll be more than happy to address it in my future videos. Again, thank you so much for watching my video blog and remember, who you work with matters.